Shri Gurbyo Namha. Welcome to online class children. Today we are going to see a biology. The topic is microorganism. This lesson we have to see introduction about microbes, different shapes of microorganism, their structure and shapes, the useful character and awful character of microbes and then relationship between microbes and human beings as well as role of microbes in food process. Shall we start the lesson children? Come. What is mean by microorganism? Micro means very tiny. Micro means very. Micro means very tiny. Organism means living things. So. Microorganism means very tiny living things are called microorganism. Do we see the microorganism compared to other organisms? No, they are all very tiny, so we cannot see them with our naked eye. Then how can we see the microorganism? With the help of using the microscope, then only we can see the microorganism. Okay, where is the microorganism? Microorganism is present everywhere in the world. Yes, everywhere in the world. See, for example, air, water, soil, even inside our body and outside our body also microbes are present. For example, our mouth. Why do we get the bad smell from our mouth? Because some bacteria, some microbes are present inside our mouth. These bacteria degrade the leftover particles then because we are getting the bad smell from our mouth. Then small intestine also having some microbes. Even our head, we have the dandruff, no? That is also one of the microbes, fungi. See, we are thinking our hand is clean. But still, we have some microbes out there here. So, we, we cannot see, no, then, we, we, so we cannot find the microorganism. So, everywhere we find the microorganism. Okay, this microorganism is also called microbes. The study of microorganism is called microbiology. Then, of microorganism. Microorganisms are categorized into five groups. For example, bacteria, virus, fungi, algae and protozoa. First we are going to see about the virus. Virus. What does mean by virus? Virus means virus means Poison. What does mean by virus? Virus mean poison in Latin word. Why the virus is called the poison? Because viruses are always harmful to the host cell. They cause many diseases to human being as well as the plants. So it is called the poison. Then viruses are very tiny particles compared to other organisms. See. Viruses is made up of virus is made up of genetic material and protein. What is mean by genetic material? Genetic material means RNA or DNA. These are called the genetic materials. I told you viruses show virus can show living character as well as non-living characters. Listen. The study of virus is called a virology. Viruses are in different shape. Hey, poly, polyhedral shape, spherical shape, complex shape and helical shape. The bacteria page is the example for the complex shape. 
and then influenza virus is the example for the spherical shape and then tobacco mosaic virus is the example for helical shape then structure of virus present already I told you virus has the genetic material dna or rna It has the genetic material DNA or RNA. This genetic material is covered with a protein coat. This protein coat it is called the capsid. This protein coat is called the capsid. Some viruses covered by the extra layer, extra outer layer. This extra outer layer is called the envelope. These envelopes are made up of protein, fat, carbohydrate. Then these envelopes have these these like spikes. It is called the spikes. These spikes help the bacteria for the locomotion. These spikes only help the viruses to attach with the host cell. Then. I told you viruses can show living character as well as non-living characters. See, if the virus present freely in the environment means they can show the non-living character. Like they are crystallized, so we can store them for a long period of time. Then cytoplasm is absent, so metabolism process also not there. If the virus enter in the host cell means then only it can activate. What happen if they activate means the living cells means can reproduce not the same like they enter into the host cell means then they sort of to reproduce their own cells themselves. Then if how the living character shows the their shows their active the response the same like they also Showing that response. Next, we are going to see bacteria. Bacteria are called the single celled prokaryotes. Bacteria are called single cell prokaryotes. See, what is mean by prokaryotes? Pro, a cell means, if a cell means, then this is the cell. If all the cells, it is called the cell. It is called the cell wall. All the cells having the cell wall. In the center of the cell having the nucleus. It is called the nucleus. Already I told you nucleus means RNA or DNA. This nucleus is covered with a layer. It is called the nucleus membrane. Nucleus membrane. The outer, the nucleus, the outer lungs are part of the nucleus is called the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance. Other organelles are present in this cytoplasm. Clear? So, prokaryotes means nucleus. Karyos means nucleus. A cell has the nucleus. This nucleus is covered with the nuclear membrane but the prokaryote missiles are they didn't have the nucleus membrane they didn't have the nucleus membrane yes cell means we can say two yes cell means we can say two categories one is the eukaryotes another one is the prokaryotes eukaryotes means they have developed envelope means developed 
level of nucleus membrane means they cell, that cells are called eukaryotes if the cell doesn't have doesn't have this nucleus means they are called the prokaryotes so bacteria are called prokaryotic single cell organisms bacteria are called prokaryotic single cell prokaryotic organism single cell means the whole body of the bacteria is made up of only one cell so that is called a single cell prokaryote means they doesn't have the nucleus membrane so it is called a prokaryotic cell they are they they are considered to be the first living organism in the world bacteria are considered to be the first living organism in the world then the study of bacteria is called bacteriology what is the study of virus we saw that no study of virus is called virology the study of bacteria is called bacteriology then the size of bacteria is 1 to 5 micrometer the size size of bacteria is the 1 to 5 micrometer what is the size of virus the size of virus is the 10000 times by bigger than bacteria the size of bacteria is 1 to 5 micrometer clear then bacteria we can classify it into many types okay they are first they are classified into two types based on their respiration they are classified into based two types based on their respiration one is the aerobic one is the aerobic bacteria next one is the anaerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria means the bacteria requires oxygen for their respiration means they are called aerobic bacteria the same like a bacteria does not requires the oxygen for their respiration means that is called the anaerobic bacteria next the structure of bacteria see this is the structure of bacteria bacteria have the cell structure listen bacteria have the outer most cover structure it is called the cell wall it is called the cell wall the outer layer is called cell wall then it has the this yellow part is the capsule the yellow it is the in the inner inner side of the middle middle side of the layer is called the capsule it also having the innermost can layer innermost wall it is called the cytoplasm plasma membrane the innermost layer is called plasma membrane already i told you if your cell means it has the cell wall it has the one nucleus part this dna or any other nucleus part this nucleus is covered with the nucleus membrane and then this nucleus is present the cytoplasm the cytoplasm having the many of the micro organelles example mitochondria ribosomes like that okay the same like the inside of the plasma membrane this is the innermost layer is called the plasma membrane no this plasma membrane having the cytoplasm cytoplasm means nothing there they are the jelly like substance other cells having a small micro organelles but bacteria doesn't have other micro organelles they have only the nucleus and then ribosomes the tiny particles are there here you no know? you can observe the tiny particles no this tiny particles are called ribosomes the protein synthesis is carried out by this ribosomes the tiny protein synthesis is carried out by this pro ribosomes and then the nuclear material see this nuclear material they didn't have any extra layers they didn't cover the membranes so so that's why it is called the prokaryote isn't it and then next one is the 
the bacteria have been the flagella it is called the flagellum okay these flagellums help the bacteria for locomotion it is called the flagella this flagella help the bacteria for locomotion are you clear children see this the outer layer is called the cell wall then next the yellow layer is called the capsule it also having the inner layer it is called the plasma membrane this plasma membrane contain the contain the cytoplasm this cytoplasm only having the ribosomes these blue particles are called the tiny blue particles are called ribosomes and then nucleus material this nucleus material doesn't have the envelope because it is a prokaryotes no so it didn't have the envelope and then the bacteria have the flagella this flagella help the bacteria for locomotion clear next one is the bacteria is classified based on their shapes based on their shapes this and first one is the spherical shape this and first one is the spherical shape second one is the rod shape third one is the spiral shape and one fourth one is vibrio or vibrio or comma shape vibrio or comma shape listen the sphere shape sphere shape bacteria is also called cacti also called cacti and then rod shape bacteria are ball shape rod shape or rod shape bacteria is also called also called the bacilli the spiral shape is called the spirillum and then this vibrio is called a comma shape listen this sphere shape cocci is also we can divide it one is the diplococci next one the streptococci third one is the cephalococci and then deterococci and then sardinia listen diplococci means two ball shape of cocci is join it a pack okay that is called the diplo diplo cocci example streptococcus pneumonia next one is the streptococci streptococci means many cocci join and form a chain form many cocci join and form a chain form it is called the streptococci then next one is the staphylococci staphylococci means many of the bulk of cocci join in a bunch it is called the staphylococci next one is the tetrod tetrod means four cocci are joined that's all next next type is rod shape or bacilli type of bacteria the best example of the bacilli type is the bacillus anthracis next the third one is the spiral shape or spiral lump okay then fourth one is the vibrio or comma shape the vibrio cholera is the example for the vibrio shape then next next is the bacteria is differentiated based on their flagella bacteria is differentiated based on their flagella already i told you a bacteria having the flagella these flagella help for the locomotion isn't it see listen based on the flagella how the flagella are arranged and number of flagella they the bacteria is differentiated by the based on their number and arrangement of flagella the first one is the monotrichus first one is the monotrichus mono means only one only one flagella present in the one end see only one flagella present in the one end so it is called a monotrichus next one is the amphitrichus two flagella are there the two flagella are present in both they are present in both end see that 
here one flagella and then here one more flagella. So two flagella present in both end. It is called the hyphae trichos. Next one is the lopotrichus. Next one is the lopotrichus. Lopotrichus means a bunch of flagellas present at one end. See, many flagellas are there. A bunch of flagellas are there. They are present in one end of the bacteria. So it is called the lophotrichos. Next one is the cephalotrichos. Cephalotrichos is the same like. It also having the bunch of flagellas. But this flagellas are present in both ends. See here, here also one bunch of flagella and then here also one more flagella are there, isn't it? So it is called the cephalotrichos. Next one is the peritrichos. Peritrichos means many flagellas present at fully in the body. See here, many flagellas are present fully covered in the body now. So it is called the peritrichos. Next one is the A trichos. A trichos means you know that no? A means absence of trichos. They didn't have any trichos. They didn't have any flagellas. So it is called the A trichos. Are you clear? Then, bacteria. Then, next one is the bacteria are differentiated based on the food. Based on their food habits. Is that? Based on their food habits, bacteria are classified. See, first one is the photos photosynthesis bacteria. Second one is the hemosynthesis bacteria. Third one is the symbiotic relationship bacteria. Bacteria can get the food in the different ways. I told you now. First one is the photosynthesis process. In the photosynthesis process, they can get the food. Example, see, we know very well plants having the green pigment chlorophyll. So, they can absorb the water using the front of the sunlight. They can make their own food. The same like some bacteria contain the chlorophyll green pigment. So, they can prepare their food their own with the help of sunlight. Listen, photo means sunlight. Photo means sunlight. See, some bacteria having the chlorophyll pigment, so they can prepare their own food with the help of sunlight. With the help of sunlight. See, listen, carbon dioxide plus water content with the help of chlorophyll they are getting the energy from the sunlight they can make the food material this is the food material of bacteria listen so photosynthesis means bacteria which has the chlorophyll green pigment they can prepare their own food with the help of sunlight with the help of sunlight this process is called the photosynthesis isn't it then next the example for the photosynthetic problem bacteria is cyanobacteria Cyanobacteria having the chlorophyll so they can make their own food with the help of sunlight. Then next one is the chemosynthesis. Chemo means chemicals. Chemo means chemicals. Listen, I told you green pigment bacteria can prepare their food with the help of sunlight. Now the same like chemosynthesis means instead of the sunlight they are using the chemicals to prepare their food. It is called the chemosynthesis process. Listen, some bacteria are new in horse environment. Some bacteria can live horse environment. So they cannot get the sunlight. So without the sunlight, they are getting the, utilizing the energy instead of the sunlight from the chemicals. The chemicals are ammonia and then hydrogen sulfide. They are using the 
yeah, they are using the utilizing the energy instead of the sunlight from the chemical. So it is called the chemosynthesis. Next one is the symbiotic relationship. Next one is the symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic relationship, the best, best example for the symbiotic relationship is E. coli bacteria. E. coli bacteria is present inside the intestine of man. Already I told you, no? Some, bacteria, some microbes are present inside our intestine, no? That is the E. coli bacteria. What is mean by symbiotic relationship? Symbiotic relationship means it is the host cell, it is the microbes. It is the microbes, it is the host cell. These microbes benefit are from, they are using, they are, this microbes benefit, this microbes benefit from the host cell. These microbes get the benefit from the host cell as well as these host cell also can get the benefit from the microbes. It is called the symbiotic relationship. Both organisms get the benefit from each other means that is called the symbiotic relationship. The best example for the symbiotic relationship bacteria is cyanobacteria is E. coli bacteria is also called HLO bacteria. Okay children, that's all today's session. Let me see tomorrow next session. Thank you.